very much for the invitation to Canterbury Tours in Warsaw. Now, your company is over 40 years old. Can you tell me a little bit about the background and the journey? Yeah, we, well, the company was started by my granddad in uh, 1976, and he worked here um, with my dad and my uncle. They, they started the company. And then um, he's obviously retired now, and um, my dad and uncle took over, and now I've taken on the company um, on my own. So and they're just working here part time. Now I see that you've got a number of different machine tools here. Yeah. You've got uh, you've got some sort of three axes, four axes machines from Herco. You've also got some EDM machines. But could you tell me exactly what type of work you do and what sort of sectors you work in? Yeah, it's mostly automotive, and we do some work, quite a bit of work for the lock industry. So um, we tend to do a lot of press tools. It's our main um, sort of area of expertise, and then we're quite. Um, into the machining so we do a lot of hard milling a lot of finishing um, and that's our basic sort of we don't really go much further out, out of the field than that so we just try and keep to what we know really and today we're here on behalf of uh, Warwick Machine Tools now you've invested very heavily in this V650G wine machine from Warwick Machine Tools the Exotech now could you tell me a little bit how you came to that conclusion of this machine when there is other leading brands in the marketplace yeah well we looked around at um, three or four different machines like the Agi and Mitsubishi and uh, Exotech and we found that the Exotech really offered everything that we needed that the other machines at a much higher price level it was as, looked as good a quality the feed was as good which is the main thing we were looking for we were looking for a machine that would constantly feed because it doesn't matter how good all the rest of it is you come in the morning and it's not fed the wire you know you, you, there's no point so we were really impressed with what you could get at, at that price point so, um, and also the size of table was a lot was bigger than a lot what a lot of machine tools offered. Um, the own, and the functionality of the machine, because we'd used Sodix in the past, was as good as what what we'd uh, previously used. Don, you've been at Canterbury Tools for a number of years. Now, your background is very much the automotive sector, as I understand from David. However, do you think that uh, your customers that, and their demands in how they're actually producing products on, in automotive, does it sort of drive you down the path of EDM? Yeah, because also with EDM, it, it, because the tolerances nowadays have really tightened up on, on, on production of parts, you can get down to a, to a lot better tolerance on, on the parts that you produce. And does this give you lights out engineering as well? It, it does give us lights out engineering because the wire feed is really reliable. And because when you get a wire break, it actually cuts off the rubbishy wire. But on our other machines, it doesn't. So we get less, less stoppage uh, during the night. And when you look at uh, the future for Canterbury Tools, would you see that if you're going to go down the EDM route again, it would be another Exitec? It would be another exercise, yeah. They're, they're really well built machines. And, uh, to be honest, we were quite surprised how well built it was for the price. And when you look at your company and your growth in automotive, do you think there is a, a big future in automotive in the UK still? Uh, yeah, I do. Especially, we're, we're quite happy with it because a lot of the skilled labour has gone out of the, uh, out of the sector. So there's, there's actually loads of work about, if, if you're any good. And when you look at the service and backup that you actually get from Warwick Machine Tools, how have you found that? Uh, it's excellent. Um, I, I deal with um, Paul and he, any questions I've got, he, he answers straight away. I just text him and he gets straight back to me. So any engineers that may be watching this video and looking at uh, maybe some, some of the bigger brands in the EDM sector, what would be your message to them? Uh, certainly have a look at the exercise. <laughs>